Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Mike. I'm Spencer. I'm Daniel Destroyer. Oh, okay. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today we are doing a uh, game found preview of, I'm going to mispronounce this, Torque? Torque. Torque. Yes. Uh, in this game, you are playing as uh, as dwarves, and you are you, you are dwarven miners, and you know uh, there's warriors and there's leaders, and you're basically you win the game one of two ways: you dig uh, all of the levels out of your uh, out of your tunnel, which is up to twenty, or you bash your opponent into submission by getting rid of their ten uh, life. Bam, bam. Uh, you've got two. Each player has uh, the same decks but they've got their own deck right so they've got an action card deck and then like a character deck or a you know uh, so then uh you're going to be drawing each turn one card from each of those decks and you can play them when they apply you're going to put your 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 um your warriors your leaders and your miners out in your play field uh that way they become active targets or uh active participants mm -hmm. And then the uh, basically the card, the action cards you have in your hand, it tells you more or less when you can play them and, and what to do with those. Uh, you also then have there are asymmetric heroes. So when you uh, when your warriors or your leaders kill other characters, you are able to gain this currency and you can use that, spend that to activate special abilities. There are also going to be locations. So a new location is revealed every round. You roll a die to see if it affects you or not. Low roll, it affects you. Sometimes you want it to affect you. Uh, high roll, it does not affect you. And sometimes that's good, and sometimes that's a bummer. Yep. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. That's that's what it is. When a, one of your uh, decks runs out, you shuffle your discard back in, and you draw again. You do keep your, your played cards, your discarded cards, uh, face down. So you want to make sure you're paying attention and not getting them mixed up with your draw pile because that way your opponent doesn't always know what card, if they're not paying attention, they may not know how close your leader is to like cycling back in. Yeah, and so you have two discard piles because they're different decks. Yeah, and they do have different uh, icons on the back, which is nice. So on your turn, basically your dwarf, your miners, so they're all dwarves, your miners dig down. So you, you, get your, you do your mining action and then you can attack and you can attack uh, the, the player or you can attack their miners, and um, and then you can uh, you can block. You can block with your warrior or your leader, or you can block with another miner. The bad thing about blocking with a miner is they don't hit back; they just die. Uh, warriors hit back one for one, kills them, uh, but you at least get currency for that. And then the leader works as both the miner and the warrior, so he can both dig and attack in the same turn. Super useful. Um, leaders are yeah, and they can steal. Yeah, and they can steal, which, which they you never just, did. Yeah, we never did because it, it was more useful digging for us. But yeah, they could take a token and put it back in the common pool um, from another from another player. And that currency that you get out of those battles allows you to activate the variable player powers that everybody gets, and they're all slightly different. Yeah, and and mine I think actually won us the game. It's by really stopping. really really strong. It was really expensive, but it, it you know by stopping you guys, my had a, an ability to stop an opponent from drawing a card. So like that helped. Like okay, well they can't draw. And yours cost two of these, whereas mine only cost one, and I didn't think it was. As well, my my good one cost four. Right. And I then, think everybody's you, big one costs uh, four. Oh sure. no, three. Ooh, nice. Oh look at that. And look I had a one. That. Uh, so a little asymmetry. In yeah, the game yeah. There. a little bit of asymmetry there. Um, he has a role. My guy is a tank healer. Oh, okay. I don't, my guy's just a jerk. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. But yeah, I mean, that, I mean, the game is pretty straightforward. Uh, there was, I mean, a little bit of us like working through some of the translation in the rule book, but this is a prototype. This is, you know, translated from Polish, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it is, that part is what it is. It still wasn't very hard to learn. It plays relatively quickly. Um, I think the artwork in this game is fantastic. I like I really, it a lot. I really enjoy yep. the artwork. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of different actions you can do. I felt like most of them were useful. I had, like, one card I didn't play, but I just never really found, like, a good time. I think if um, – and I also kind of felt like initially our backs were up against the wall. We did play a 2v2 uh, when, we, when we were playing this. Um, I had that uh, – 
it was the one that you used on Mike that was like the blind wanderer. Uh-huh. So you couldn't play a card for three turns. And after I saw you do it, I was like, oh, I should totally do that. But then I was trying to like load my hand up because some cards will proc right. better if you have more cards yep. in your hand. Mm-hmm. So that one kept staying as filler in my hand. It's like, well, I could do it, but oh, I want to do a bomb or I want to do the flood, you know, uh, so things like that. But um, but it does give you interesting choices to make with the timing and when you play the cards and stuff like that. And then also though, um, if I play a resurrect card to bring my leader back, I know they at some point in time are going to have a, if I haven't seen that resurrect card come up yet, well, it's probably coming. Right. So there is, you do have basically full knowledge, you know, of all the possible cards they could have. Uh, so that part is interesting as well. Yeah, and we played one game mode. So as you said, we played 2v2. You mm-hmm. can play this 1v1, or you can just do a total free-for-all. Yeah, you could do yeah the, a three-player game where everybody's going at it, or a four-player game where everybody's fighting. And those cards are pretty situational. Uh, there were some I held on to, and I didn't see a situation for them. But then later in the game, I had one that allowed me to double our dig power for, for one action. That was awesome. Uh, which was great. So when you find those chances to play those cards, it does feel good. I like uh, when timing matters, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. like the, yeah. in, in a game. And so you're not just playing it arbitrarily. Uh, Spencer, what do you think? Um, I mean, you, you did a pretty good job of summing everything up. Um, yeah, I love the art on it. I like the fact that the leaders have a different abilities, steel. Although we didn't use it, I could see that being very useful. Um, th- th- it might be possible for uh, your character in particular to shut someone down for quite a while. Um, well, the problem is you have to, I mean, it costs yeah, it four. Costs a lot. Like, cause I had to build up every time before I could use it. It just worked out well that I was able to, yeah, when sure. I was able it's, to use it, yeah. it worked it's out. a bit of ri- a rich get richer power a little bit because you have to have a strong army to use it and then once you use it you weaken the enemy's army sure and so that's eh, that's a little rough fair um but other than that i mean yeah i mean it was fine <laughs> didn't have much didn't have much more to say than you guys already contribute. mentioned sure yeah. sure dan uh the two big things for me is i don't like the rule book it's a pre-production rule book though i think it's a slightly deeper problem than just translation though i just feel like some of the things are in a weird order like i'm not sure how many rule books th- this person has written before and i've written none so i'm not a genius at it i'm just saying like you're reading some things and it's just like oh i wish i had mentioned this earlier or like why is it mentioning oh. this now i had some weird stuff like that that i hope gets reworked a little bit um I also just hate learning games out of rule books. I, I, I hate it. I want a video or I want some kind of extensive knowledge of me sitting and playing the game. When we're sitting there reading a rule book and trying to play from it, I, I just zone out. It is, it is the worst way to learn a game, in my opinion. And so I have a real hard time doing it. Um, so when one's written a little weird for me personally, then that just uh, it like highlights a minor problem right? for me. Um, I also don't love the way the combat works in the game just because it it feels like uh just so you guys know the way it works right um it kind of feels like someone who like liked how Ma- magic the gathering did combat but then they changed it a bit and i don't think it it it, it feels as fulfilling so in Magic the gathering you target the opponent champion whatever they're called right and then they can assign blockers to that in this game it works the same way except you can target any card and what you can that, target the miners or the leaders you can't yeah, target the, not the warriors. right and what that means is 90% of the time, the person you're targeting isn't the person you wind up attacking. And so it, it makes this tactical decision of who you're attacking really just become a, okay, I'll always attack the three best targets and you guys will block them with someone who's not the best targets and that's who will always die. Like it just, it seems to fall that way. And I just didn't like that feeling of, uh, just just feeling like you're going through the motions of like, yeah, of course I'll attack your leader and of course you'll block your leader. Let's move on, right? Like, I don't know. I don't feel like it worked. It just needs a little tweak to, to you know, change slightly how that worked. Like, how would this game work if you could only attack the heroes and then the blocking would play effect? Or how would it work if there were more cards that affected um, blocking and, and stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, not an expert at all. It just felt weird. And so I wanted to say that for any of you guys, Magic is one of the most played games on the planet. So so if you've played that, that's what you're getting into with this. A, a system where you assign attackers and then they assign blockers. And so just understand how that works in a game where picture you're playing Magic the Gathering and I could target any of your creatures with any of my creatures and then normal blocking rules apply, right? It just It's a different feeling. Um, and so just know that going in, I guess I'm saying. That's all. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess I oh. should say, though, I did enjoy it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, I didn't say that yet. I did enjoy it. I just wish the combat was a, a, a little bit different. But I, but I like the... Um, honestly, I was getting this feeling. It's probably just because of the iconography they used. But um, Arctic Scavengers is a deck building oh, game right. I really like, where you're, you're 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 stacking as many shovels as you can in your hand because you get one dig per shovel right. and stuff that's in your hand, and you're stacking your swords in your hand because you get one attack per sword. And like this felt like almost like a tableau version mm -hmm. of that, where you're stacking up all these miners, you're stacking up all these things, and then it's almost a tableau builder, where then you're procking all these abilities you have in front, and the opponents are directly destroying the tableau that you have with their tableau and trying to make your tableau weaker. I like a lot of that feeling. Um, I just, again, I just, I just wish the attacking felt slightly well, different to me. I think it will feel a little bit different if you're playing a 1v1 sure. game. Because uh, we decided to basically, you guys were attacking us and uh, you like the actual heroes. Mm -hmm. And, and so we kind of went the, because you guys were, you guys had that, that good double dig card like mm -hmm. early. And I was like, oh, crap, they really are kind of like pulling ahead there. Right. And we were down on the health. And it's like, well, let's just keep taking out their miners, you know. So so we put you in a position where you had to like kind of keep blocking, you know, the miners and stuff. And then when it came down to uh, you guys, when you guys started stop stopping attacking the character, but then we're attacking the miners, we then had enough built up that we could kind of block some stuff, I feel like. No, um, I mean, it's true. I will say to that, though, while we were targeting your hero early on, we only ever did five damage to you. <laughs> out I of, did. No, I thought I gained some. Maybe you did. The, I'm pretty sure damage. we only ever did Maybe five did, out, of the, out of the 20 needed. So it's yeah. not like we like hardcore went no, on that. No, 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 we no. just got five easy early damage. First... And we're like, oh, this is working. And then it immediately stopped working. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fair. But I, and also, though, right, like. I think that there is a a little bit more strategy to to than than you than you felt like there was as far as when and how you block and with what. But I mean, we can agree to disagree on that point. I don't think that that's like the end of the world or anything. But yeah, I mean, the combat is very straightforward. It is one damage kills anything, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they hit and they may hit back, they may not, depending on what card it is. And the guns are the best cards in the game. The guns so are awesome. The rifles are fantastic. So yeah. These are one ones and these are zero ones. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, basically. basically. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and they all have Defender. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for a very straightforward, simplified combat system, I mean, yes, it could be more complicated, more complex, but it's not. It's very straightforward, and the gameplay is relatively quick uh, as well, which was nice. Uh, anybody, any other thoughts? Anything you want to contribute or add? Yeah, I like uh, the art, like Spencer said. Um, I think it would be fun to try the other variable player powers to see mm, how right. they work differently. Yeah, which, uh, are these the only characters or are there others? These four are the ones that came in the prototype. Okay. So, I mean, when it hits game found, who knows, who knows right? right? Yep. And uh, I also tend to appreciate anything that's team-based. So when I can work with a teammate and see if we can come, you know, Work on a strategy that wins. That always kind of feels good. And playing those action cards at the right time feels really good, too. Yeah, I found that really satisfying. Yeah, I'd be worried if it's on a, a 1v1, v1, v1, where one person gets Chaos. killed early on oh. and they're out of the game. It, yeah, I didn't read what the what the rules are. For okay. That. Like they're, right. so. uh, it, it's it, a concern, but... It is true that uh, going on the action cards, it's it's very interesting in this game that you can literally play them whenever you want. Um, there's no only on your turn thing. So while Mike's taking his turn, while the opponent's taking their turn, I can be playing these cards that are affecting the state of the game. It's very interesting. And, and that, I think, is where like a large chunk of tactical mm -hmm. stuff comes in, where you're just like really trying to think of... like There's one time where I literally had, I had my cards in my hand, and I just played a card as fast as I could because I wanted its effect to go off before anything else was played. Like I really wanted that card's effect to go off because there is no like stacking in right. this game. Um, so yeah, just uh, those action cards and what they can ch do to the board on any turn is very strong. Yeah. Yeah. Really strong, really fun. And when you pull them off, it feels good. It does feel good. Um, all right guys. Yeah. I, I thought uh, torque I'm, I'm saying that correctly. Uh, I, I had fun with it. I like it. Uh, Dan, it's winter themed because there's it snow in the It is a winter themed game. That's nice. <laughs> uh, so it does feel very cold. Um, but yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. And I was glad we had an opportunity to uh, check it out. Anything else, guys? No. Mm -mm. All right. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Give us a like, comment on the video. Let us know what you think, what your experiences are, any questions you have about it. We'll answer them if we can. Uh, also, if you are interested, we do have a Patreon. 
not necessary, but if you have the means and want to support the show monetarily, we're definitely open to it and it is there for you. Uh, all that being said, thank you for watching for the board game rundown. I've been Tim. Mike. Spencer. I was Dan. Dan.